Cotopaxi volcano's ash eruption continues, have increased actually slightly, as you can see here. Uh, this is imposing volcano in its landscape, and as you can see, it is a country with a well-connected, you know, highway system. Uh, it's a member of the OPEC and one of the founding members of the OPEC. It's all rich, and uh, it's 5,800, one of the highest volcanoes in the world. And definitely one of the highest in the South America. I raise my hat for the my colleagues, uh, geologists in the Ecuador. They produce this innovation, innovative way of presenting the camera uh, with a superimposed uh, a scale to actually show what's the height of the ash column and cloud, and all the changes in the landscape and the snow levels. You can see the ice fields. Uh, this is the direction toward at the moment toward the west uh, from the Cotopaxi. It reminds me in a way of the uh, Damavand volcano of Iran. They're similarly imposing 5,648 meters, which has also such a history. It's the last time it was 7,000 years ago active. It yes have fumaroles and uh, sulfur from it. But for Cotopaxi, we have warnings all the time on the place. This is for uh, probably one of the most active volcanoes in the world, continuously active, I must say. Is part of the ring of fire of the Pacific, and uh, as such, it is important for the global weather and the environment, not just uh, one country.